Welcome to Team Girl. So, you've been getting spam registrations on your WordPress site, well, what do you do? If you're using the default WordPress login and registration form, well, there isn't much you can do. The only thing that you can really do is just turn off registration entirely, but that kind of defeats the purpose. So, you're gonna have to install a registration plugin that gives you a more secure form, and oftentimes when you're using a registration plugin, it also gives you better forms and more functionalities. So, in this video, I'll show you how to stop getting those spam registrations. Basically, we're going to override the default WordPress registration and login forms with something better, and to make them more secure, we're going to use stuffs like Captcha. But if you don't want to rely on services like Google Captcha, Edge Captcha, or Cloudflare Turnstile, well, then you can always use stuffs like Honeypot Spam Protection or Whitelist Wanted Domains and Blacklist Unwanted Domains. So we'll talk about everything to prevent spam registrations on your WordPress site. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and let's get started. All right, so here we are within a fresh new installation of WordPress. And if you look here, I'm within the general settings tab and here I have enabled membership. So basically anyone can register onto my site. If I go into my default login page, there's this register button right here. And this right here is the default WordPress registration form. And this is where all your spam registrations are coming from. So first of all, we're going to replace both the registration and the login form with something better, something more secure. And just so happens, it will also look really good. So let's do that first. Now to do that, we're going to add a new plugin. Let's add a new plugin, search for user registration. And this right here is the plugin, simply click on install. Now once installed, click on activate. Now after this, you'll be redirected to their setup wizard. Simply click on get started. I'm gonna click on allow. So first things first, what's going to happen is it's going to give you a default registration form and it's going to add two new pages. It's going to add a registration page and it's also going to add a my account page where users can see their profile details. They can change their password, they can log out. So yeah, it's going to add these two pages and going to give you a default registration form. Now, if you're just setting up and you want to disable registrations for the time being, you can turn this off. If you want to enable registrations, you can just leave this thing turned on. So this right here is the registration form behavior right after a user registers. So right now it's set to auto approval after a user registers, but they have to manually log in. There are a few other options where you can automatically approve them and automatic login. And if you want to manually vet each and every registration, you can turn on admin approval. And there's also an option for email confirmation where an email is sent to the user, which they have to verify after which they'll be approved and they'll be registered. Now, the first layer of defense that you can implement is to turn on admin approval, but still that's not going to solve all your issues because there will still be those registrations that you have to go through. Anyways, there are better methods, so I'm just going to leave it at auto approval and manual login. And this right here is prevent WP dashboard access. So whichever role you choose here, they will be prevented from accessing the WordPress dashboard. So that's about it. I'm gonna leave it at subscriber. Let's do next. So right here, if you want to enable password strength, you can do that. And the default user role that you want to be assigned to your users when they register, you can select that role. This one as well, I'm gonna leave it at subscriber. Now this right here is the my account settings, basically the page where users can view their profile, change their password, log out, etc really like this vertical layout. I'm going to choose that. And if you want to, you can disable profile picture. And yeah, if you want profile picture, just leave it as it is. Let's do next. So there we go, we're ready. Let's go ahead and let's view the registration page first. So this right here is the default registration form. Now currently we don't have a login page. That is because your My Account page acts like a login page. If I open this in incognito, then you can see that this right here is our login form as well. So first of all, I guess let's just create a dedicated login page. To do that, we're gonna go into pages, add new page. I'm going to add a login page first. And now if you go within user registration, go into the all forms menu, you'll see login form right here. Simply click on it. And this right here is the short code that you can use to render your login form anywhere. So simply copy this and paste it right there. There we go. Simply hit publish. So we now have a login page. So if we go back into incognito, then we should have a login page right here. And there we go. We now have a login page and a registration page. And now you can also do cool things. So if you want to get like more information from your users, then you can simply go within this all forms menu and you'll see your default form right here. Simply click on edit and you can drag in all these different fields and you can gather more information from your users. But anyways, we're not gonna get into that. I'll leave a video down in the description below if you want to make changes to this registration page. But right now, let's focus on your spam registrations. So right now what we have is a registration and a login page, but currently the default WordPress login and the registration forms, they're still active. So we need to block these ASAP. So to block those forms and override them with this form, simply go within settings under user registration. Then within your login options, you'll be able to see this option right here. Disable default WordPress login screen. Simply enable it. And this will also block the default WordPress registration form. Now, after you've done this, you'll also unlock this field right here. So basically, if anyone tries to access the default WordPress login page, then they can simply be redirected to a login page. So we already have a login page. So I'm simply going to select on that login page. 
and I'm going to save the changes. So now if I try to access the default WordPress login, guess what? I'll be redirected back to my login page. So this is your first layer of defense. You've blocked your default registration and login form from where a lot of spams were coming from. So you've done that. Great. But that's not it. Bots can be smarter so they can try to infiltrate your registration form, your new registration form. So now we need another line of defense. Now for your second line of defense, I'm pretty sure you've seen Google Recapture a lot of times. Google Recapture is a service by Google. It scans the user behavior and the user will be shown a prompt. And now the user has to type in the characters that's shown in that prompt and then they'll be verified and then they can log in. Now Google Recapture is not the only capture service. We have other different capture services that you can use for free. That is, you know, first of all, you got Google Recapture, you got Edge Capture and you got Cloudflare Turnstile. And integrating all of them is a similar process. You just have to get the site key and the secret key, paste it in here, enable it, enable it within the form and you'll be good to go. So for this video, I'll show you how to protect your forms with Google Recapture version 2. And for others, it's going to be a similar process for which you're going to have to do a little bit of Googling, but it's a similar easy process. But for this video, let's set up Google Recapture to protect our forms. If you click on this and if you go right here, you can get the site key from Google Recapture. Simply click on this link and you'll make your way to the Google Recapture site. Now go over to this V3 admin console right here, click on it. So now let's go ahead and let's register our site. So simply click on this plus button right here. And now let's give it a label. I'm going to name it UR test and I can choose which type of recapture I want. Now Google Recapture V3 is all done in the background while Google Recapture V2 is challenge based. Basically users have to tick the I am not a robot checkbox and if they happen to be suspicious they have to complete a series of challenges. So I'm going to show you how to set up the Google Recapture V2. Anyways here we're gonna have to add our domain. So simply go ahead copy your domain without the HTTPS and paste it right there then click on enter. Now for Google Cloud Platform, I already have a project, so it's already given me a name. You can just give it a random name that you can remember and you'll be good to go. Anyways, let's click on submit. So upon submission, you'll see this right here. You'll get your site key and you'll get your secret key. Simply copy both these, then go back within your user registration dashboard. Just paste in your site key and your secret key. Once that is done, simply click on Enable Recapture V2 and save your changes. Now, what you can also do is you can test what the capture looks like. So simply expand this menu and click on Test Capture. And there you go. This is what the capture looks like and the user can verify themselves and you'll stop getting spam registrations. Anyways, let's enable Recapture V2 on our registration form. Now make your way to the All Forms menu, then your default form, click on Edit. Then within Form Settings, you can go ahead and enable capture then select the capture that we just configured which is the recapture v2 and once that is done simply click on update form now if i open this in an in incognito window if i make my way to the registration page then i have google recapture right here which i have to complete in order to register myself into the site so there you go okay so now this should be enough for over 80 percent of the users recapture should do its thing for you and you also don't just have to use Recapture. If you go within settings, you can see that you can set up Google Recapture, Edge Capture, Turnstile. Now you can do your research and you can choose whichever one you like the best. But besides these captures, there's also another service that you can use. And that is if we make our way into plugins, add new plugin, it should be right at the top. It is this Akismet anti-spam protection as well, which not only blocks a contact form and your registration form spam, but it will also block spam comments if you have a blog. So let's install this plugin. I'll show you how to set this up as well. Simply click on activate. And now it's going to ask you to choose an Akismet plan. And don't worry about it. There is a free plan for Akismet. Simply click on choose an Akismet plan. And you can make your way to this personal plan right here. Simply click on get personal. And then you can slide this slider over to $0 a year. But you got to make sure you don't have ads on your site. You don't sell products and you don't promote any businesses on your site. And then you can continue with the personal subscription. Now, once you've done this, enter in your postal code for your billing information. So it's not going to be that useful. Just click on continue to payment and complete checkout. And there you go. You can get your Kismet API key right here. Simply copy the API key and then manually enter an API key, paste it right there and connect. Now, if you've installed the Kismet plugin, it will also show you analytics right here that you can see. It's going to show you how many spam registrations it stopped. And now to integrate this within your newly created registration form, simply go over to user registration, all forms, then select your form, go within form settings, and then if you scroll down below, you can see that you can enable spam protection by Akismet. Simply update your form 
And now I can't show you anything, but in the background, Akismet is basically going to stop all these spam registrations as well. Oh, and there's also one more thing that I almost forgot. So now you've secured your registration form. You use Google Recapture or any of the other capture platforms to secure registration form, or you use the Akismet anti-spam plugin and you connect it to your newly created registration form. Well, what about your login form? Now you won't get spam registrations from your login form, but there is also an option to enable capture for your login form. So if you go within settings under user registration, go into login options, then you can click on enable capture and capture will be enabled for your login form as well. Now, since I've set up a recapture version two, I'm simply going to select that and I'm going to save this page. Now, Akismet anti-spam will not work with your login forms because it's simply not needed, but yeah, you can enable capture at least if you want to. Anyways, now suppose if you don't like to rely on services like Google Recapture or Akismet anti-spam because, you know, they are still third-party services that you're integrating to your website. Now, if you don't like having them around, then what you can do is you can use something called Honeypot Protection. So I'll give you a brief example of what Honeypot Protection is. So basically, if you have a WordPress form right here, you can see these four fields, right? You can see your username, user password, user email, confirm password. Now, basically, Honeypot Protection adds another field, but it will be invisible. Now, when this field is invisible, normal users won't be able to fill out that field but a bot which is running on a script will be able to fill out that form because they're not visually doing it they are filling out the html content and now if your site has a registration and the invisible field is filled out then that means that is a spam so it's going to be marked as spam and you'll be safe that is what honeypot protection is so if you don't want to rely on services like google recapture then that is something that you can use but for that you're gonna have to get a premium version of the user registration plugin it is a standard checkout process and once the payment process is complete you'll get the user registration registration pro version zip file. Once you upload that zip file and you activate it, you'll not only get the honeypot protection, but you'll also unlock a lot of other features directly tied to your registration form and the registration system of your entire site. So if you want to venture down that path, feel free to. Anyways, once you have the pro version, simply go ahead and edit your default registration form. Then go within form settings. And then if you make your way over to extras, then you should be able to see activate spam protection by Honeypot. Simply click on enable and update the form. So there you go. Once the Honeypot protection has been enabled, there will be an invisible field, which if filled out will be marked as spam and they won't be able to get through. And that is not it. Within your form's extra settings, there's also this another option right here, which is enable whitelist or blacklist domain. So basically, if you have a not so public site, then what you can do is you can only allow certain domains to, to be able to register, or you can deny certain domains. So if you're getting continuous spam entries from a certain domain, then you can just simply block that domain. If maybe you're getting spam entries from like xyz.com, then you can simply block it out and you'll be good to go. Now, a lot of times your spam may not necessarily be from bots. It can also be from people. Well, in that case, you can enable blacklist words. So if you have a bunch of hooligans spamming your registration form, then you can simply blacklist a certain words. So here you can simply choose multiple fields and whatever the spammer is likely to fill out, maybe something like idiot. I don't know, whatever the user is spamming, you can simply block those certain words as well and you'll be good to go. So there you go, a few ways you can block spam registrations on a WordPress site. So if you enjoyed that video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. If you have any content ideas, I'm always eager to hear. Let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.